Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I achieve this fall makeup look. So let's get started. So to start off the makeup tutorial, I'm gonna be fixing these brows. So basically I'm just brushing um, my brows up and then just kind of lining and defining my brows, filling in any of the sparse areas that I may have, which are mostly at the front of my brows, and then just brushing them through just to kind of diffuse the line a bit and make them look a little bit more natural. To moisturize my face, I'm going to be using the Glam Glow Illuminating Moisturizer. I've been loving this one just because it gives us that inner glow underneath our foundation and just really nicely hydrates the skin. To moisturize my under eyes today, I'm going to be using the Neutrogena Age Rewind Eye Cream and I'm just going to be using my finger just to blend it all out. To prime my skin today, I'm going to be using the Porefessional by Benefit Primer and I'm just going to be applying that in my T-zone area just to keep us matte and oil free all day. To prime the rest of my face today, I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Dewy Primer and I love this one, it just gives me an inner glow and looks really nice underneath the foundation. It also helps my skin look more dewy and healthy but doesn't make me oily which I love. To prep my eyelids today, I'm going to be concealing with the Born This Way Concealer. This is in the shade Nude. You guys already know I love this stuff. It blends so nicely and it also keeps me creaseless throughout the day and covers up that redness really nicely. I'm just going to be blending it out with my Real Techniques brush and then I'm going to be just blending it out even more with my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. So to set the concealer down, I'm going to be using my favorite powder, and this is the Maybelline Loose Finishing Powder. For those of you wondering, this one is in the shade Fair Claire. For eyeshadow today, I'm using the Soft Glam Palette uh, by Anastasia Beverly Hills, and I'm just going to go ahead and get take that burnt orange color and just kind of generally put it into my crease, just kind of to define and shape the crease. To deepen up the outer corner of my eye, I'm going to be taking that shade Mulberry and just kind of patting it down first and then blending it into the crease just a little bit. So for this look today, I decided to do kind of like a halo eye, so I'm going to be putting a little bit on the outer corner and then applying some as well in the inner corner of my eye and then kind of connecting the two in the crease. Then I'm going to be popping a little bit of bronze on the middle of my eye. I'm actually going to use my finger for this one because I feel like you get the most payoff for the formula. Then I'm just going to be grabbing a clean blending brush and just blending them all together. To finish off with the eyeshadows, I'm just going to dip into the shade Tempera and just highlight my brow bone. So to get our eyes ready today for falsies, I'm going to be curling my lashes and then applying a little bit of mascara on the top lashes. For lashes today, I wanted to keep it super natural, so I ended up cutting some of my Kiss Lashes in half. These are the Kiss Lash in the style Poise. So I cut them in half and I'm just applying them on the outer third of my eye. For foundation today, I'm applying one of my favorite foundations. This is the Maybelline 24 Hour Foundation, and I believe this is in the shade 220 Beige. I love this stuff. If you guys are looking for a full coverage, affordable foundation, you guys need to get your hands on this one. I know this has been out for a while, but I just, I love it. I always go back to it, and this is actually my third bottle, so it is definitely reliable. To blend out my foundation today, I'm going to be using, this has been my favorite sponge lately, and this is the Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. So for those of you who are looking for a cheap, affordable, really great quality sponge, I really recommend this one. So today I'm trying something different. I'm actually going to be applying my lower lash shadow before I put the concealer. So I saw this trick. Um, on YouTube of course and I wanted to try it out and I actually really loved how it turned out so I'm applying the shade Sienna on the bottom lashes and that's the only shade I'm applying so it's really easy and then I'm just gonna grab a MAC eyeshadow brush this one has no product on it and I'm just gonna kind of smudge it and bring it down just a little bit so to conceal my under eyes today I'm gonna be using the Born This Way the same one we did for our eyelids 
And then I'm just going to be applying this underneath my eyes, on the bridge of my nose, my forehead, my cupid's bow, and then my chin. So what I've been liking to do lately is blend out everywhere on my face but my under eyes. I like to let it sit a little bit more. I find that I get a lot more coverage doing that. And then I'm just going to go ahead and blend it out. So now I'm just going to grab the sponge and I'm going to kind of diffuse and blend the color um, underneath my eyes, not getting too close to the to my under eyes. I'm actually going to grab my Real Techniques brush, blend out the edges and diffuse them, and then go ahead and set it right away just so we don't get any creases. So once I'm done doing that, I'm just going to set the rest of my face, and then I'm going to go ahead and blend the other eye now. So then going ahead and doing the same thing, blending out the concealer kind of trying to stay away from the under eye and then grabbing the Real Techniques brush and diffusing the color and then setting it right away. I find that this technique worked really nicely and I just loved how it looked and yeah, so you guys let me know down below in the comments if you try this technique out and let me know how it goes. Then I'm just going to go uh, ahead and grab a brush and just kind of sweep off all the excess powder that we put on. To finish off the eyes, I'm just going to apply a little bit of mascara on my lower lashes. To contour today, I'm going to be using the Hoola Bronzer and I'm just going to grab a brush and just lightly contour my cheekbones and then kind of doing my forehead a little bit, my nose, and then also underneath my lip just to give us a more um, plumped and bigger, bigger lips. I'm actually just going to go ahead and grab that same um, Hoola bronzer and just kind of generally bronze my face everywhere and just kind of give us more of a, a tan look and bring some life back to the face. For blush today I'm going to be using MAC and I believe this one is called Beach Please and just applying that on my cheekbones. To set my face down, I'm going to be using the Garnier Skin Facial Mist, and this is in the scent Rose. So instead of letting the mist dry, I'm just going to go ahead and grab my sponge and just blending all the product in and making it look even more flawless. For highlight today, I'm using something nice and soft, and I'm using the Laura Mercier um, Highlight 01 Highlighter. And this one is just really pretty. I find it super natural. I've been leaning towards less highlight lately, so I've been really liking this one. For lips today, I'm going to be lining them with MAC um, Lip Liner in the shade Boldly Bare, and I love this color for fall. I think it's so nice. You're still sticking towards the nudes, but it's a little bit more bold than your typical nudes, so I love it. And to wrap up and finish our look today, I'm using the Huda Beauty Liquid Lipstick in the shade Bombshell, and I love this color. I think it's so pretty. And then I'm just going to be applying a little bit of gloss right in the center of my lips. And this one is by Alme, and I believe the shade is called Goddess. So that is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, give me a big thumbs up, and I'll see you in my next one.